This place is beautiful. Welcome to Idol Reserve. Today we are in Hawking Hills, Ohio. I'm here often because there are so many beautiful cabins to show off and Idol Reserve is brand new and it is incredible here. Today is a very special video though because we're going to be touring five cabins. Idol Reserve has five cabins on their property and they all have their own unique touches to them. Three of them are the same exact layout but the interior design is very different in the three of them so it'll be interesting to tour those three and see how much interior design can change up a space the one i'm staying in right now is their largest one it takes the design of the smaller one and just expands upon it and this one is amazing and then the last one is a renovated cabin that was already on this property and they did such a great job at renovating it that interior design is beautiful as well so this is an action-packed video normally this would be five separate videos or something but we're getting five cabins in one video today so let's just get straight into it because this is going to be a long and fun video I will get this out there now if you want to book any of the places we show on this property after you watch the videos and you can see which one you want to stay at you can use code Levi 10 on their website and save 10% on your booking so I highly suggest doing that if you enjoy uh, what you see in this video it lasts all year through 2022 at Auto Reserve the construction of the cabins was done by HyG Supply Hugo I will leave a link to their website down below and you could actually have them construct your own house as well or tiny house if you really enjoy uh, what we're seeing today so when you pull up to the property you will see how beautiful these cabins are you'll go to the one that you've booked for yourself or if you booked all of them for a wedding or something cool that would be awesome as well they're numbered from one to five we're not going to be touring them in order because that's just too predictable so we will just start with number two this one is the one i stayed in and it's the largest one whenever you pull up here you can have your car parked right next to the electric charging station all of these cabins have electric chargers right at them you can walk right up to the cabin it is beautiful with the black wood on the outside and on this left side you have this huge open air deck space and that's what makes this cabin very different from the other ones and you walk up on the deck space you'll pass your hot tub you have a huge seating area on this left side beautiful outdoor furniture you got the fire going right here it is very cold while I'm staying here so this fire was really nice they provide the wood for you right here here. and then on the other side there's a grill and then behind all of this is an outdoor dining table with some cool accent lighting above it and you can just see out into your view which is all woods and it is nice to have this private area and it's just a huge open area so let's walk inside through this door over here and see the beautiful interior this place has to offer <laughs> walk inside the lighting is so beautiful in here there's windows everywhere and it is so spacious and huge in here I love it so much and just the design of this is incredible first thing you walk into is your dining table this dining table was built by Carpenter Sun which is located in Columbus Ohio so it is a very nice table it can see a total of eight guests and it just looks really good in here and then behind this is your kitchen space this kitchen is immaculate the huge island right here in the middle this is probably the biggest island we have seen I love the countertop it is this black stone and it feels sturdy it feels very high quality and that just goes along with everything else in the kitchen the appliances are hidden behind all of these cabinet doors so it just looks so good and they are high efficiency Fisher Paykel appliances so if you know anything about them you know that these are awesome and like the fridge is hidden right on this right side and even all the storage units you open them up they have drawers in them you have all the supplies you need for a kitchen space they even provide some local coffee Roosevelt coffee which is very good I'm very familiar with them and they even provide an espresso machine here these are not cheap so you can have an espresso you can make yourself a latte or they leave a Chemex as well and you can just have yourself a regular cup of coffee so the supplies 
supplies they leave here are just incredible and even on the island you have plenty of cabinet space on the side that faces the dining table they have games in here Catan which is my favorite game ever and even the details with the kitchen sink how on the countertop they have these grooves here to lay your wet dishes here you don't even need a mat I mean it's just the details like this that are awesome and the filtration system for the water is through a 400 foot well in the ground and it is filtered through that in a reverse osmosis system to coming out of the tap it tastes great it, it tastes like nothing you don't want water to taste like anything and i liked it a lot so that is like that with all the cabins as well but anyway we'll move on to the living space now this is absolutely beautiful space the huge windows on all of these walls the sun rises on this side so it bleeds in beautiful lighting and you just have a couple seating chairs a couch a few reading lights and then a fireplace over here there's a gas fireplace so it's really easy to turn on and get cozy in here especially in the winter months and then you have a frame tv right above it these tvs are my favorite because they look like works of art if sometimes tvs are ugly but this one is really beautiful you can have works of art on it or you could use it as a regular tv so that is everything in this living room and this is probably my favorite space in this cabin it is awesome Behind this living room is an open space and there's even a small shelving unit right here you can, that has a record player in it. Speaking of record player and music, one amazing thing about this cabin is if we look where all the light switches are, it is a system by Brilliant, which this is the first time I've ever seen this or used it. Uh, of course, you got all the light switches that dim on and off, and then you have screens on these switches. You can connect your Spotify to it and you can play music all through the house. You can change it using the screen and you can even access cameras from the screen, like cameras to your front door, your back door, anything. And there's also an intercom system on this which is it just blew my mind i had a really fun time playing with all of this and listening to music let's continue back around the hallway by the kitchen we walk back here on this left side there is also a hallway that goes all the way to the other side of the cabin and this splits up the back of the cabin and the front of the cabin and here you have a welcome book some more storage cabinets you can put all of your luggage in here if you want you can hang up clothes in here as well and it's just really nice to have and on this back side is a small bathroom you have your vanity on the left and the toilet on the right and then we can continue along down this hallway you have a bunk bed down in here the bottom bed is a really nice size and the top bed is a little bit smaller so you can climb up this ladder and it just looks really beautiful to have this and I mean if you have bringing kids they would love this this just allows for a lot more guests so and on the other side of this you have a washer and dryer behind these doors as well so lots of hidden spaces in here everything is just really beautiful I want to be sounding like a broken record in this because we got a lot to cover. <laughs> anyway, if we go on the other side, back where the front door was, we can continue walking down that hallway, and this is your spare bedroom space. On this left side, we can walk through the store, and you have your own bathroom back here. And there is a huge tiled walk-in shower, beautiful wood on the ground, the water just flows right through it. Huge horizontal subway tiling in here, and of course your shower. The nozzle is on the opposite side of the shower head, so you can turn on the shower without getting wet genius and then your vanity of course it matches everything else in this house and then back through the bedroom is you have the bed in the middle some nice stands on each side you even have a couple closet spaces if you open them up they have some robes in here for you to use to shower or to go out to the hot tub or whatever pretty spacious bedroom and of course you can close all of the windows with these blinds Let's walk back through the hallway and enter the back of the home on the other side. We can walk through this hallway and this is your master bedroom space. Such a great uh, bathroom and bedroom. The huge king bed right here in the middle. All of the sheets are natural linens and mattress as well. There is more closet space over here to store your bags or hang up your clothes in here. Sometimes Airbnbs don't offer that in the bedrooms, which is crazy, but there's plenty of space in this bedroom for all of that. 
and then now we can walk into your master bathroom. This is just out of this world, I think. On this right side, you have this enclosed glass space for your bathtub on this left side and then your double shower on the right side which is incredible to have two shower heads in here and a bathtub and to have the glass just show all the way through this is really fun to look at you got the windows double glass walls on both sides I mean it's just picture perfect in here and then you have a double vanity over here on the left side and then through this back door is your toilet room with that being said, that is everything for this first cabin. The heating is through the floor, actually. There is tubing through the floor that heats up this cabin. And it did a really great job, actually. It's been like zero degrees uh, Fahrenheit here. And I've been pretty cozy inside this cabin. So now I did a really detailed tour of this one. Let's walk to another cabin on this property and we'll go through the other ones a little bit quicker because there are some similar aspects to them. You'll see. Let's walk down to cabin number five now and walk through this one. This is one of their smaller cabins and it has a very similar feel as the cabin we just toured. You walk in and this is kind of your welcome area. There's cabinets on this right side. Your washer and dryer is back there. And then there is some storage cabinets on this left side to put your stuff, coats, boots, whatever you have in here. And we can walk through this hallway and we enter into your main living space. You have the kitchen right here on the right side. It is the exact same layout kitchen as the one we just toured, but it's a different color scheme. It is this dark blue and it has just has a different vibe in here. So if you like this vibe better than the last one, then this cabin is definitely for you. The dark blue is beautiful. You have everything the same. Same coffee maker, same coffee, same refrigerator. Everything is very identical with this kitchen as the last one. So you're not going to be missing out on anything. I think the kitchen is very beautiful. The dining table is a little bit different, a little bit smaller because not as many guests are going to be sleeping in this cabin and just different furniture choices in here. And then now we can move on to the living room, completely different layout of the living room, but the windows are all the same and you have the fireplace in here as well, along with the frame TV and the furniture choices are very fitting with this cabin. And I like how they just change the layout of it all to give it just a totally different feel in here and then one difference is on the back side of this living room piece you have a workstation i would say you can sit here get some work done you can write or whatever you need to happen because sometimes people like to get away and do work while they're gone so this is a good station for that and then another difference is you have this door off of this room and when you walk out this door you have a small patio space out here with some chairs you have a grill out here but there is also a small hot tub down the steps for you to enjoy so that is really nice to have and this place also has a fire pit over on the left side on the outside of the cabin but it was really snowy so i didn't get to enjoy it too much but that's okay heading back inside though right past this door we can walk back through here and in this room is your bedroom space this is a much different bedroom than the other two we've shown so you have the bed right here in the middle it kind of looks like a murphy bed because the bed is sunken into the wall with the cabinet sticking out on each side but it's not the cabinet space is really nice though because you can store your stuff in here or over here on the right side they leave some robes for you to enjoy and you got the accent lighting above the bed it just looks really good in here and then through this door is your bathroom space the vanity over here on the right that matches the rest of the home the color scheme and everything your toilet and then on the other side you have the huge walk-in shower uh, as well the double shower heads in here and a bathtub on this side so it is beautiful in here the tiling is gray and it just feels really luxurious in this space and that sums up for this cabin as you can see it was a lot similar but just a lot smaller compact made for a couple or a couple with a kid and the other one's definitely made for a family or a larger group of people so now we'll be moving on to cabin number four now this is the exact same layout as cabin five the one we just shown you but the interior design is all different so let's go see how much a cabinet can change with just a little bit different interior design when 
you walk inside this one, the floor plan is the same everywhere. The color scheme is way different. This one is a much moodier green, more 1920s or Victorian era feeling to me, I think. It is much more darker and moodier in here. The kitchen is all the same, but with green cabinets this time, there is a much different dining table in here and over on the living room side. It is all very different in here as well. You got the same windows, but instead of the wood framing, it is the black framing. Uh, much more manly tone in here and a completely different layout for the furniture in the living room. Completely different furniture for the living room. I really like this leather chair right here. It is very comfortable to sit at and read in here. But you also have a fireplace, the frame TV and behind this living room. Instead of a workstation back here, you have a beautiful wood hutch and it looks incredible in here. Fits with the style very well. And then you have the same outdoor patio when you walk out here. Uh, some chairs, a grill, and then of course a hot tub out here for you as well. And we can walk back through the bedroom. Same layout, but instead of the dark blue, it's the dark green everywhere. And the picture frames in here are different. And now we can walk through the bathroom space and the bathroom is the same as well. The beautiful, luxurious bathroom. So. What did you think of this cabin? Did you like it better than the blue one or did you like the blue one better? We still got one more to show you and that is cabin number one. So let's walk all the way back to cabin number one and this one is the last cabin of this format but the interior is just so much different, it's incredible. So let's walk inside there. When you walk inside here, this one is a black and white scheme much much brighter and airier in here so if you're not a fan of the dark moodier tones then this one might be the one for you it's also a little bit more of a modern vibe in here same kitchen space but you might have thought the cabinets would have been white or black but they're blue and it looks really good with the white uh, walls and everything else in here you have your dining table over here a little bit more modern vibe and then a record player back here in the corner and then now to the living room this is a much different living room different layout a huge couch you have a gigantic reading light over the couch this black chair uh on top of this cowhide rug is really neat this time the frame tv is black and on top of this chair instead of the fireplace that's a little bit different and then a pop of color you have this yellow accent chair in the corner so it looks really good in here the windows, of course, look incredible with the lighting coming through. Behind all of this, there is another workstation back here, and there's even a typewriter. So if you enjoy uh, using that, you can use it, or you can just move it out of the way, do some work back here. But overall, it all looks really good in here. And you're not missing anything that the other cabins don't have really. So it's just a different layout. Back to the bedroom, it is all white and a lot brighter in here. And yeah, we can walk through the bathroom and it's the same tiling and everything in here as well. So that is a tour of the three smaller cabins. What did you think of the interior design space? Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. I'm gonna have to say out of the three, my favorite was the first one we toured, the blue moodier space. That just fit my vibe a little bit better, but they're all really incredible and well done. It would be hard to design one space for one, but to design three or five spaces that this place has is really awesome so now we're going to be touring the last cabin which this cabin was on the property when the host bought it and they renovated it and did a such a good job and let's just walk inside and check it out This cabin is 100% different from the other ones. You walk in and this whole top floor is really open and cozy at the same time. It feels really intimate in here because of all the stuff that's going on and it's just a little bit tighter of a space compared to the other ones, but that's not a bad thing because it's still really open and large in here. On this left side, under these two skylight windows, you have a reading space. There's lots of books behind these two chairs uh, to look at and to read. You also have a small guitar and even a record player over here as well. So this is a really cozy area to sit at and just enjoy your time. And it looks really good. And then on the other 
other side of this is your living room space. This is one of the coziest living rooms. Totally awesome. This whole wall behind the fireplace is a black tile. And then, of course, your really neat fireplace. I haven't seen one that looks quite like this. When you light the fire, it really glows and it looks beautiful. They provide all the wood in here for you as well. It's right under this fireplace. And having the wood inside makes it feel really cozy as well. You got the furniture pieces, your couch, your chair facing this, and then you even have a small bookshelf on this right side with some books to choose from. So this living room is really cozy. And then moving on to the kitchen space, all the way on the other side, these huge windows let in some really good lighting. The kitchen is on this right side. Same idea with the huge kitchen island right here in the middle, but it's a little bit shorter than the other ones because it's a smaller kitchen. But the same great countertop that is this black stone you have the built-in stove right into this island and then on the other side the same beautiful cabinets you got the open shelves though right here with the great black tiling backsplash behind it the wooden shelves all of your dishes up here looks great they even provide the same type of coffee and espresso machine over here as well but we can open up all of these cabinets. You'll see all your stuff that you need in here. You have a hidden dishwasher. You have this cabinet that is full of your coffee supplies when you pull out the drawers. And then on this left side is your hidden refrigerator and freezer. And yeah, this kitchen just looks incredible. It's the same uh, materials used as the other cabinet, it's just a completely different layout. And then on the other side is your dining space. Beautiful table. You got the metal chairs all around it, but on this side you have a booth style seat and this might be my favorite dining table out of all of the cabins as well, just how it's laid out. Through these windows there is a sliding door right in the middle and you can walk out into your first patio space. This patio space would be great use for the summer, but right now you can see it is full of snow. On this left side is a dining table and the right side is a grill. But I'm getting cold so let's head back inside on this side of the cabin you have a small hallway and you can either walk on the left or right side the right side is your first bedroom space it is a nook style bedroom i would say because the ceiling is sloped and there's really just enough space in here for the bed and a small dresser the bed is right under the skylight so you can be sleeping under the stars at night but you will be woken up by the sunlight. So for early bird people, this bedroom would be good for you. And it's really moody in here. And I'm sure it gets really dark at night because the walls are dark as well. On the other side, you have a small dresser and some robes and towels provided for you. And now we can walk on the other side of this. And this is your bathroom space. This is a beautiful bathroom. I love the slope ceiling in here. There's a skylight right above your bathtub. You have the tiling behind this bathtub and the faucet that comes out of the wall. This is just beautiful. If you are a bath person, you're gonna love this bathtub. And then you have a small vanity on this right side with the mirror behind you because of the sloped ceiling and then your toilet space. Bright bathroom, uh, really nice use of space because of the sloped ceiling, so really awesome. And that is everything for this top floor. Let's walk down the steps, which are on the other side of the cabin and into the basement, which has a lot more space down there. When you walk down here, the host told me there were no windows in this basement, so now that they added windows, it doesn't really feel like a basement. It feels really comfy, actually. The space is your living room, and if you're a TV watcher, the TV is down here. It is a frame TV. The orange couch and the black chair uh, look really good down here, I would say. So, two living room spaces so far. We can walk back through this door and this is another bathroom space for you. This one is a lot larger and in here it is really moody as well. On this left side is your sink with the beautiful hanging lights, the beautiful mirror. I mean, this just all looks great in your toilet. And then on this back wall is your huge double walk-in shower. Again, with the double shower heads, that seems to be a theme in all the cabins. So the hosts must really like double shower heads, but who doesn't because if you're coming as a couple, it is awesome and it just makes the shower a lot larger and the beautiful tiling everywhere. I mean, it's just all looks great in here. So props to them. Now, as we walk out of here, there is a last hallway. You can either walk on the right or left side. Both of these are bedrooms. The bedroom on the right is a bright bedroom. It's really airy in here. Huge bed right in the middle. The beautiful wooden slab as a headboard behind it. You got 
hanging lights on each side, which is a little bit different from just a nightstand. I really like these hanging lights. Actually, it looks great. A huge mirror over here. There's a small chair and a cubby back here. And then another mirror by the door. But this one, you can open up. You got your robes in here. And there's even drawers you can pull out that have extra necessities that you might need. So this is a really simple bedroom. Huge and airy. And now we can walk into the other bedroom. And it is a moodier bedroom with green walls. And you got the bed right here in the middle. But also you have a bunk bed in this corner. So this is the family cabin, I would say. You can sleep. Total of eight guests, I believe. I really liked how they renovated this cabin. It feels really cozy. I think I could live there very, very easily. So that is all of the five cabins in this one video. There is a lot to look at. You heard my voice a lot. This is Idle Reserve. You can rent one of them. You can rent all of them with your family or friends. And yeah, let me know what your favorite cabin was down in the comments below. My favorite is the first one we toured, the one I actually stayed in. I just really liked the color scheme of it all and the design of everything. It is everything I would pick for my own house and it felt really comfy and there was just a lot of space to go around for everything. To sum everything up, Idle Reserve, great host of people. They told me they pay their employees double the industry standard and they went through a lot of effort to make everything sustainable. Like with the electric charging stations, like with the heated floor system and with the organic cottons and just soaps and supplies they leave. Uh, you can read all about that on their website below. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit longer than most videos because we toured all the places in one and I hope I didn't lose you anywhere. So thank you guys so much for watching these videos. It means the world to me. Anyway, I'll see you next week in another video.